Greetings. This is an earthquake watch for January 28 through January 31. A 6.1 earthquake was recorded in Tajikistan on the 24th of January and it's been fairly quiet since. It does appear with recent solar observations that we may receive one or two significant earthquakes with one potentially over 7 in magnitude during this watch period. Here is the solar wind data and we're currently looking at levels at around about 288 kilometers a second and these are at fairly low levels. Um, it hasn't been at these levels for the majority of the month and this would indicate to me that the um, magnetic field is susceptible to a large earthquake. Two very large spikes were recorded on the GOES X-ray flux monitor and they aren't super large but they are big spikes uh, much larger than what we we're accustomed to the last three months and we also had two very large filament eruptions that occurred in the solar corona on the 24th and 25th of January. So this would indicate to me when you combine all these data that we are susceptible to a very large earthquake, perhaps one seven in magnitude during this watch period. Now I'm looking at some coronal hole information and what I'm trying to do is to correlate coronal holes in the solar corona and map them to earth to find this location of this possible large earthquake that I believe is headed our way. Now I'm focusing on two coronal holes in the southern hemisphere. I do feel the southern hemisphere may be the main area of concern and there is a fairly wide coronal hole in large, um, fairly deep down and one also um, approaching a few days later. We are starting to see the effects on this coronal hole in the center portions. Now the red is the negative polarity and the uh, bluey green color is the positive polarity and I will be focusing on these. Looking at the AIA193 angstrom and this is a fairly good image of the southern hemisphere and we can see some fairly ominous looking coronal holes and this to me looks to be uh, quite dangerous. We also have a new one just forming just in front so we may get um, perhaps a smaller event um, prior to this and this one here is sitting at around about 28 to 32 degrees south latitude and this one also seems to be fairly deep down uh, perhaps around about 60 degrees south latitude and we may get these effects late January 27 to January 28 and this will be in the later on in the watch period perhaps a day and a half later. We can see these holes a little bit more clearly in the 171 angstrom and we can see that this one in the uh, low reaches is fairly deep and this newly formed one also looks quite dangerous. There's also another area that's popped up here that may be um, sort of like in between these two time periods. Um, this probably would be New Zealand but I don't think it'll be too large. The main areas would be above and below. We're now looking at solar monitor and we can see some fairly large coronal holes and in this uh, contrast they do look a little bit more dangerous and as we can see these look quite uh, quite considerably larger and this will, we'll look at the moving imagery right now but uh, these are the main two areas that I will be focusing on during this watch. It's also worth noting that we do have some celestial influence and a key planetary alignment date that I've targeted and this falls on January 31st. Now there's also some lunar influence as well which coincides with this and we do have the moon passing through Sagittarius um, during the January 28 to 31st period so it also adds a little bit of extra possibilities. Now the last time the moon uh, went through Sagittarius astrologically speaking was January 1 to 3 this year and we did get two earthquakes uh, seven plus in magnitude so it is worth keeping an eye on um, I just thought I'd mention it as it does fall in this watch. Okay we'll have a look at the filament eruptions that occurred January 24 and 25 and these are fairly powerful now I did make a video on my alternate channel showing the first filament that's just erupted and the second that I presumed was it going to follow up and it did so there are two filaments that occurred uh, virtually simultaneously, um, just probably perhaps about 12 hours apart. Okay, I'm going to be plotting the area for January 28 and 29 and the most likely area south 60 degrees and the best fit would be the Sandwich Island region and this trench has been fairly active of late and I feel that there is a potential of a 6.3 to 6.5 earthquake in this area. My second area of watch would be 
around the Bell and the Islands region and this area sits slightly lower at 63 degrees south latitude and slightly above would be uh, the Macquarie Islands region and this is also sitting right on about 58 degrees so I do feel that there is a potential of a 6.3 to 6.8 in one of these locations we'll have a quick look at the SDO satellite moving imagery and we get to have a good look at the solar disturbance and the remnants of the filament eruption and there is another eruption although not as powerful as the initial and it is a fairly powerful event and I do feel that there is at least one um, solid earthquake that may be recorded during this watch now I've just targeted this large coronal hole and I do feel that this will be the first day or two of the watch um, perhaps even um, half a day earlier um, but I'll put this earthquake video up uh, nice and early this time as these uh, quakes seem to be coming slightly ahead of time now this is the large coronal hole that I'm going to be targeting and this is the main concern I do feel that there is a 7 plus earthquake in this area okay my target area is 28 to 32 degrees south latitude and the most likely fit area I will chart three areas only for this watch and this will be the Comatic Islands and this is a region just that I'm circling here and it fits quite nicely now this area is also under the influence of tropical cyclone Wilma and this may actually create higher swells which may actually give an extra influence for an earthquake so that would be my first area of influence the second area would be Chile and this area um, is well we all know it can handle some large earthquakes so I do feel that there is a potential if it's a land based event more than likely it will be in Chile and my final area that fits uh, with this target zone would be the southwest Indian Ridge and this area lies underneath the uh, Madagascar region um, towards um, the bottom portion of Africa so that'll be my three areas of watch and the main area would be the Comatic Islands I do feel that it uh, matches quite well there is also a potential of a volcanic eruption along the Comatic Islands and possibly the top portion of New Zealand mainly due to the um, higher swells associated with the tropical cyclones that have been roaring through so there is a risk um, that we may receive some sort of volcanic activity that will be my earthquake watch for today the results will be annotated at the end of the video and also as events occur thanks for watching